Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia and welcome back to another episode of our Liu Bei Let's Play. We are on episode 31. Uh, we pick it up from turn 139 in the spring season of the year 218. So last episode ended with us uh, almost wrapping up in the northwestern front. Uh, we had a little setback against the little turban forces here. Uh, Zhang Fei uh, took a hard beating and uh, he picked up Maim as a trait. And there's a bunch of other traits that our generals picked up, uh, pretty good. We picked up a lot of ancillary items, uh, including the sword from the Yellow Turban General. Uh, we will be equipping that sword. It's a very good um, authority sword. So I think we want to give it to our um, Da Qiao over here. Because giving her more authority stat will add more satisfaction uh, to our faction. So we'll give her right here. It's also part of a mandate of war. Uh, we mentioned that last time, but we don't have the Waking Dragon, uh, which is a strategist army uh, armor. So we'll take care of that uh, switch when we do pick up that armor. Uh, so last episode we did all the battling. We can actually pick up a new reform. It's spring season. Um. Let me think. We picked up the copper mine one. So now I think we're actually pretty set in terms of what we need for all our buildings. And we can probably turn our attention to better agricultural reforms. Um, this level five port is still needed. So maybe, yeah, maybe we need to pick up this for the level five ports. Yeah, let's do that. We're one reform away from getting it. And uh, let's see, our armies have actually all done what they needed to do. We do have the option of actually finishing this fight. The city has 100% wall. We have two tribuches. They have a new general. Mm, we might do better just waiting. We gotta get some more damage on the wall. Everywhere else, we're fine. Oh, we took care of that rebellion. Uh, yeah, I think we're doing well. This army, we're gonna kind of ignore. It's gonna start running out of military supplies as it stays in my territory, and we'll see where it goes. It's not really a strong enough force to actually be a big threat. And Kongrong is nearby to help. Let's take a look through all the buildings. Okay, so there's an upgrade available here in Dai. Uh, feels like most of these buildings are at a point where I'm very happy with them. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade private workshop all the way up, then the inn. Yeah, we're working toward getting the necessary form to boost this to level 5. Ah, conscription building. Ah, uh, yeah, we were talking about getting the temple upgrade. Ah, uh, next time then. Five more turns. It's probably gonna face another rebellion in five more turns. It's all the way up there. It's not terribly far. We could start heading up there. It's gonna show up right here. So we can run between the two places. And also there's a... They rebelled against us, so maybe they need to take care of all of this. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Do we have everything covered? Feels like it. Okay, we could do something here. We give it more farm. And more tax here. It will lead to a rebellion situation. We need to upgrade this reform right here. It will increase three public order and then pick up all oh, we're two away. So this will be plus three and then this building upgrade will be a plus plus what four? Plus eight. Well that's a big jump. 
so plus 11, so they can definitely afford a few more levels of the tax building. Let's do it. Alright, uh, that wraps up everyone. Let's end turn here. Actually, we can open council positions, draw economy. We can try to see if we can get some new mission. It is spring. Abort these two, and then they still want a school, they still want a chancellor. So nothing's really changed. Let's continue. So Sun Ce wants to invite Gongdu to our uh, coalition. Gongdu doesn't want to. Uh, but if we accept, our two current coalition members will be happier, so we're going to do it. Okay. So Kingdom and Wu and Cao An has uh, asked each other to join the war against Liu Sun Ce. That's fine. Gongdu signed a peace treaty with Tao Sheng. He has a nice armor. Gao Gan signed a peace treaty with Dong Pei Shan. Okay. So Gao Gan has betrayed us. His army that was out here. Got wiped out by Kongrong's army, so that took care of one concern. Maybe this army is good enough to take care of Golgan's army right here. It's only one unit. Uh, we have a level up? Is that what this is? Yes, we have a level up. So he is going to be... Uh... He's not good at anything. I guess a battlefield commander. Don't I don't see him as any potential for uh, administrator. Okay, let's start with our first army group here. We're gonna try our best to wipe out this group soon. We're still one more turn away. We'll be fighting Ma Chao and Pei Yun. Uh, Zhang Fei's army. Continue the siege. We got 5% damage on the wall. It's not a lot. They're not suffering through attrition. We need two more turns for that. Hmm. I feel like we should just continue sieging. There's no rush. We picked up a builder. That's nice. Uh, administrator could use it. Alright, Guan Yu has a couple options. This army is slipping through. He might be landing here to attack one of our undefended cities, so Guan Yu should track him. And then we should wrap up our fight with Cao Long over here. So, Zhang Yan definitely should come chase him down. Right, he's willing to fight us. I'm actually just going to delegate this. There's no point to fight him in the field. The prediction is quite favorable for us. Ooh, gutted him. Ooh, and beheaded. So I guess that's the end of Cao Long. Alright, we'll pick up replenishment. Cao Long died. There's a new regent because the heir is too young. Probably Cao Long's wife. Uh, we'll head back out. Now, our ally, Yuan Shu, actually started expanding south towards the Kingdom of Wu. The capital's really close. Our army's in position to go for it. All we need to do is fix our war situation. Or we can ignore it, continue to use the exploit, and uh, fight Liu Biao up here. Who has one army here, and that's about it, I think. And Liu Qi is sitting here doing nothing, waiting for that fight. Or we can swing Liu Qi down and join Guan Yu in this fight. Uh, I feel like it's time to go to war with Wu. Let's fight the big guy. Let's not take care of the little ones. So we'll send our armies into the water. Sima Yi will lead the primary offense against taking the capital of Changsha. He'll be assisted by Zhang Yan. And Guan Yu and Liu Qi will uh, clean out the coastline. We'll wrap up all these forces. All these territories right here will be ours. And then we'll make a push into ending Wu. Okay. Uh, we still have Zhang Fei's army. They're sieging, so there's nothing going on there. Um... I really wish there's the option to 
have the number not appear if it's just the commandery building. A settlement building. Like, if the upgrade is only a settlement upgrade, then I don't want to see it. Mm, here we only have farmland, horse pasture, which should just produce food. Yep. I guess I can just look at the ones that are twos. Because those are obviously the one that um, can build multiple things. Yeah, let's do that. That's a smart thing. So these ones must be all uh, commandery updates. Let's just double check this theory. Okay, there's a conversion that needs to happen here, but that's a new that's a new commandery. Ah, uh, so it's not true. So here's Hedong. There's two things, but only displays one. I guess it was two because there's also other issues with the place. Okay, I feel like we got everything. Let's just get our last assignment out of the way. Okay, this is filled up. Everything that we can give it has it been given. 30% industry. This is a heavily industry town, so that makes sense. This is a highly commerce town, and we have the commerce income. This is a mixture of both, but mainly commerce. Alright, we'll give it a strategist. Maybe Wu Fan. She's not happy there. He can. I mean, I want a lower level one. Hmm, maybe just not there then. 800 industry? That's pretty good. Yeah, you almost level six. Oh, there we go. We'll send her. All right, that takes care of everything. Uh, let's continue. Well, there's new people. One new person. Healthy, tolerant, trustworthy. No thanks. Oh, and we have spies. So, she's now the Empress of Wu. We're probably gonna go to war with them soon. That's our strategy. So, can we trigger like a civil war? Who's the heir now? Sun Yu. So it's actually back to a Sun clan. She's the Duchess of Wu. We're close. We need eight more points. No, we need a lot more points here. Nine per turn. This is the cover. Can we build more cover? Here. Yeah, this will increase our cover. And we only need 50 there. Okay, so we'll use that. Alright, so now our cover didn't go up. Maybe it'll go up more? I don't know. We'll wait for a few turns. We should work on a civil war. Make them more messy. But we can always do that after the war starts. Doesn't really matter. Alright, let's start. Alright, so Gongdu declared war on Gao Gan, which is great. Ah, Liu Heng finally came of age. So our son is 18 now. Wonderful. Alright, living in harmony. Our other spy got promoted as a general in Kingdom of Wu. Zhang Dai gained a trait. Yeah, Men's about to rebel. We should get our army up there quickly. Zhang Fei leveled up, which is interesting. So, Zhang Fei leveled up, we should pick up... We want this eventually. Shock cavalry damage plus 25%. Level 8, level 9, level... So we can do like level 8, level 9, level 10. 50% line of sight, melee piercing damage, melee attack rate. So this is Zhang Fei's own melee attack rate. This is his army's ambush chance and quilla deployment. I feel like this is better. And then we'll go here and here. Okay, and uh, let's see. Galgan's army is on the move. Hmm. So this is going to be a rebellion. We're not going to make it, so we might as well just attack this. We can actually just delegate this. 
it will still be strong enough to take care of the enemy, even if they come back for it. Alright. We'll occupy. Right, so this is a uh, administrator office, no need. Ah, they have a level 3 construction building, that's great. Farmland, yes, produce more food. Perfect. So this army is now stranded. We'll be taking the farmland and then we'll end Golgan basically. Uh, over here, Zhuge Liang is going to be finishing up with this army here. We'll use the same strategy we used before. We'll attack the army on the outside to force the army that's inside to come out and help. Even though this is only a silk trader and not like an actual defensible position like a city. Oh, he just ran. He abandoned Ma Chao. What of pow, man. Alright, let's uh, fight Ma Chao here and, and Dong Pei Shan. Maybe Ma Chao will join us afterward. There's a 38% chance, so let's hope. Alright, so the Silk Trader building is like an encampment, pretty much. It's just a little outpost in the middle of the desert where traders from different countries come on the Silk Road to tr pick trade silk. Uh, since Ma Chao is in there, I don't know if they're actually going to charge out at us. Uh, it's pretty much the same attacking from whichever side. Um, I just like to attack from a side that protrudes out. Uh, that way when you run in it doesn't actually impact you. Like if you... Uh, like the, if you're in, if you're protruding in, uh, it might actually continue to damage you as you run up. But it's not really relevant here. Um, where we where we are is perfectly fine actually. Uh, so we will just set up our tribuches up here, not very close, just in case they do charge out. Uh, crossbowmen. It's a very standard setup that we do. Wonder if uh, Huang Zhu at age, I don't know, 70 can take on Ma Chao. Looks like they're gonna stay put. That's their mistake. Then we should just hit, hit deeper. Increase armor piercing damage. Kaboom. There we go. Alright, let's take out the buildings first. Just in case we get carried away and run out of ammo, killing people. Alright, that should be good enough. I'm pretty sure you'll set it on fire at the minimum. There we go. 63%. Oh, they're coming out. Excellent. Come out, come out. Fire. Wish you fired faster. Look at that pile. Look at that clump. Oh my god. Here they come. All this range unit. And then our range units start shooting. Come on, give me the second volley. Alright, there we go. Montreal's running out. He doesn't want to duel, actually. He's actually stronger than us. He's level what? Level 5? He's a tough cookie. Right, we'll pull our guys back. We'll let Montreal fight our uh, cavalry. They're actually shooting our cavalry, which is actually their least efficient target. That's a fast moving range unit right there. Anyways, get ready. If Ma Chao charges up, we'll charge at him. Well, I don't know what they're running to right there. Uh, they're coming close, but let's take off skimmers mode. Little bit should come here, give them range protection. Actually, I, I shouldn't. If I do, they start shooting my ar archers. Alright, here comes Macho. 
I mean, they're within our range to just go for it. Uh, Alright, time to kill Macho. You might be strong, but you're not gonna fight all our cavalry. Ooh. Unbreakable. So, screw your morale damage. We'll go in and kill him. Perfect. I think. Yeah, we just need to keep firing at their range unit and we'll be fine. Right, let's kill Macho. He's dying. Alright, he's routed. They all routed. Alright, this is a win. We'll keep him alive. There's really no need to chase him and kill him. We'll see if we captured him. Let's see our chances. Alright, pretty easy fight. Machal clearly ah, didn't die because he has resiliency and he, he is part of our faction now. He did pick up Mame, but you can't do anything about that. Awesome, awesome. Let's see, what's his items? Pretty, pretty nice. Yep, we'll be picking him up. Now, from the five tiger general, we're just missing. Uh, uh, who are we missing? Huang Zhong? Yeah. I don't know if he's still alive, though. We can double check real quick. He should be under Liu Biao. We'll look it through uh, alphabetical so we can find him. Let's see, Huang Zhong. He would be ancient if he's still alive. Uh, uh, I don't see him. Might have died of old age. Well, four out of five isn't bad. So now we should form a new army uh, for uh, Ma Chao. Uh, we'll do that soon. Uh, this fight right here still predicts that we'll have a crushing defeat. And I don't actually feel good about fighting Yellow Turbans. We'll continue to siege. I really want them to come out, but I don't think they are. Uh, what do we have here? We have our son who just came out, so he has all his points to be assigned. Two points. Uh, I'm gonna make him our heir, I think. Minus five corruption, that's really good. You can take all of mommy's items. Stepmom. Stepmom. That's right. That's how is your stepmom. We'll be picking up faction. Oh, actually, he's he needs a few levels before he is better off as heir. Well, plus two, plus five, satisfaction, plus two, public order. Yeah, he's gonna be great. We should put him in the same army as Macho. Actually, no, then it'd be two cavalry units. She's leveled up. Why does she have an armor? Oh, she's unhappy with us. Rivalry with past buyer, lack of purpose, desire for higher office. We have the money. We're going to just give them raises. Alright, no point to have them unhappy with us. Alright, let's continue to look at our armies. Uh, he did land. He's heading towards uh, Lujiang. We're going to march to go a little faster. Liu Qi is also really close. Uh, you can get even closer. Um, Zhuge Liang picked up Perspective. Zhang Dai picked up another one. Back to back. Ooh, we got Orglave. Are we getting a lot of good stuff? Uh, this army is not fighting. Let's see. Sima Yi. We want to launch attack at the capital. To do so, we have to first make peace with Wu. Hmm. Now I'm not so sure if that's the best move. Just gotta think about it. We could wait for a civil war. I really want to see what happens during a civil war. 
Maybe it's good enough to just let Liu Yao situation play out over there. We'll fight him. And then we'll have Sima Yi actually sail, sail down the river. And slip past over here. And start fighting uh, Tao Sheng, who is the other emperor seat. Was the other emperor seat, but no longer is. Toolmaker. We want this weapon craft for sure. Okay, fine. We will go this way. We will start sailing starting next turn. So we're sending Sima Yi off with Da Qiao. And over here, we'll just keep. Zhang Yan. We have two armies challenging them. And I think that's pretty much it. Just waiting to battle it all out. Alright, fully upgrade. All right, rebelling imminent. Soap trader. Oh yeah, we have soap traders now. That's another reason why we should pick up that reform that we did pick up. Okay, we picked up some silk. So silk gives a very a completely separate. Um, income source is just going to be income from silk and there's ways to boost this from all over your kingdom you can have different ports that help silk um, so he's stranded here we can fight him next turn all right let's continue all right this time Gongdu actually is willing to join our coalition we just got to vote yes and then we'll have him all right, the last remaining force of Dong Peishan is suiciding into the city. We'll just let him suicide. And there he goes. We'll pick up replenishments. All right, Kingdom of Wu has asked uh, Cao Cao's faction to go to war with Yuan Shu. We got Gongdu in our coalition. This actually changes a lot of things. Uh, Dong Peishan faction got destroyed. Gongdu was entered into war with Wu. So if Gongdu is in our coalition, we basically have military access here and have full vision. So now we can simply walk over and capture this uh, capital seat. We don't actually have to loop around. So that would be Zhuge Liang's job right now. There's no more fighting for him over here. We'll go into March. And we're going to go straight for this capital seat right here. It'll take a long time to get through the mountain paths of Shu, but we'll get there. Uh, in the meantime, Zhang Fei over here. We finally ate through all their supplies, so they'll start to uh, suffer attrition this turn. They might come out and fight us. If they do, it'll be really good. If not, we have to jump into the siege sooner or later. And then... We have to chase down this army by Liu Yao who's heading into this area. We can't fight them unless we're in normal stance. He's on mark, so he can't run away anymore. All right, there we go. We can actually fight him. Let's fight Liu Yao. All right, uh, welcome to the last battle of Liu Yao's life. As he run helplessly into a group of tribuches and uh, spear guards and cavalry char counter charges and then Guan Yu is going to be decimating him too he has good items he has an excellent bow wow he has a really good one this is Sun Ren's bow how does he have it did he marry Sun Ren no way Sun Ren married his faction Come on, no way. Alright, we'll duel her with Guan Yu. And then we gotta watch out. We don't want him to snipe our generals with that bull. Yeah, we got plenty of tribuche fire damage. Alright, we'll charge out. 
We'll pick up that duel so he can't shoot us with that bow. Come on, get in range. There we go. We'll just look at the. We'll just look at. We'll just make sure there's a trebuchet on all the range units. And then we can watch the duel. Alright, Guan Yu chops her off the horse. Clearly, no surprise. Gotta pay attention if they come under arrow fire. Alright, let's do some splash damage. Could have waited a little bit better, but it's fine. Wow, she's almost dead. Come on, Guan Yu. Ooh. Alright, finish her, Guan Yu. Oh, wow. Okay. Great job. He's pissed. Does he want to duel or does he just want to fight? He doesn't. He's out of control right now. Okay, we gotta. Where are we on horse? Yes, we are on horse. And there's no point to stand here. We can charge at the infantry. Counter charge the cavalry. They're done. He doesn't want to duel. He is firing his bull. Ah, Shi Huan took all the bull damage. Look at that. Half health. We were too focused on the fight. Alright, we'll just kill him. There we go. He's not doing anything. Just getting killed. We can have these uh, auto fire again. A few of them were just dead on select on uh, the archer units. Is he on the run? Yeah, he's on the run. Alright, we'll let him run. We'll probably capture him and get the bull from him. Seems like he survived with his army. We might have to fight him again. Uh, we'll pick up replenishment. Shi Huan got pretty hurt. We want that bull. We're not going to let him run away from us. We're going to try to pick him up next turn. Uh, Liu Qi. I don't know. We have some options. We could declare this war. We can't let... Wait, Liu Biao's force is over here. What's he doing? Alright, let's 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 just fight him. Alright, this piece... We have to pay this much to get a piece with him? It's actually ridiculous. So the game... Now is like, I have to pay him to enter a war with him. So, I don't know. I mean, we just, I don't know, we can't fight him. That's, that seems to be the only issue, we just can't fight him. So, if we can't fight him, we just have to fight someone else. This bug is really annoying. Alright, we're gonna pick up this weapon craftsman soon. So since we can't fight Wu, right, we can't fight Wu, we can take this land, but there's really no point if we can't take the other two. Uh, Sun Ce is running out of space, getting killed. Alright. You know who we can fight? We can fight Liu Biao. And we're gonna fight Liu Biao. Sorry Liu Qi, have you come down this way all for nothing. Zhang Yan. Hmm, also not doing anything since we're gonna go to war with Liu Biao. Let's march up. This guy is on the run. He's trying to make it back to his farmland. We're gonna be marching towards his farmland first. All right, there's a small army here too. We'll pick up the farmland. There's a rebellion. It's not very strong. I think Dai has actually our uh, conscription building. Nope. Who has our conscription building? Is it over here? Do we build it here? 
Interesting. Where did we build the... Oh, it's right here. Trying to find a best play to summon out Macho. But right now, maybe this is the best place. And then he can just take the river down and attack Cao Cao. Alright, let's raise Ma Chao's army here. We'll raise Ma Chao first and see who gets along with him. There we go. Uh, Chen Gong would work. He's 64, but he has an army that's ready. We don't need to recruit a new army. Or we can pick some of our younger guys. Wu Fan. Hmm. We could also work a rivalry angle. Alright, let's just pick uh, Chen Gong, and then when he dies, we'll just pass along the army. And then we need a champion. Or, yeah, champion for infantry. Tao Mao Hui Qi. Guan Xing. Okay, we'll pick him just because the name kind of reminds me of Guan Yu. Alright, so we'll put the army in here. We will definitely swap for cavalry units. Because we have a couple horse pastures, these are much more, like much more, much cheaper to recruit now. And then for him, we'll recruit just spear guards, and then swap these two for spear guards. All right, perfect. So that army will take care of the rebellion first, and then we'll worry about where to go next. Let's see. Yeah, we're waiting for the yeah. We're waiting for them to come out this turn. Um, I think that covers everything. I wish we give that new army better items. That that's something else to worry about. First, right here. Public order is fine. State workshop. farm no this eventually will be an income town so spend some food let's see what can I give you battle axe we don't have a master leather for you but we do have hardened iron shell we don't have a good... Well, I mean, we can give you the horse, why not, right? I guess this is the right item for his stats. Instant stats. Uh, he has okay items, I guess. Alright, there we go. Ma Chao here can... I mean, I think he's been associated with Spear, so we'll keep that. Can't believe he doesn't have a good horse. Yeah, we don't really have a good horse to give. Hmm. We can give him a better item here. Retinue upkeep. Yep. Alrighty. He's level 1. Ma Chao has reach, so that's fine. All right, we'll just let that army recruit, and let's go to next turn. Okay, Gongdu requested Yuan Shu join the war against Yellow Turbans. Sun Ce requested Yuan Shu join the war. All right, um, a few trains gained. Dutiful from Zhuge Liang. Okay, rebelling imminent in Ye again, so we need to hurry that army back. So I think we're good. We can just try to smash this. We can automate this. Ooh, through the heart and off with his head. Alright, perfect. 
We captured an officer. We captured an officer from Little Turban and then recruited him. All right, where is this guy? Is it her? Does it tell us who it is? I guess it's her. Not bad. Clearly not a man. Right? He is no fool. Okay. They can rest up for a little bit. Boost the, the um, public order up a little bit. Alright, Galgan is trying to race back. Hmm. We have to fight this on the battlefield or else... It's just a lot of garrison. Our army is kind of random. We have these trebuchets, so I think... Hold on, let's take a look at whether they have flaming shot or not. They do, okay. I, then I feel more confident about this. Let's open up the siege. Alright, let's start battle. Okay, so there's a pretty good chance they'll march out and fight us. Uh, given how things have gone with our past few uh, fights. Uh, our army is really not that great. Uh, but we will have to just make do with what we have. Mm, actually, it might be better to have the spear guard as flank guards. And have our other infantry as the front line. And fire arrow these guys. This group can be in circle. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Let's pull our guys all back. They have pretty poor items. Didn't really equip this army. But it's really gonna be all tribuches, so let's do it. We'll start off by bombing at the towers. Usually once you dest start destroying the towers, they will come out. They will start to realize this is not a defensible position. Well, the accuracy. The accuracy is a level 4 tribuches. The accuracy is insane. Let's see what we'll hit. We just need to start a fire, honestly. Yeah. They only have 14 shots as well, so it's terrible in every way. Let's see if we can get lucky and hit some units. See, now we hit the building. 49%, 48%. We're getting a fire started here. See, look at that. We're gonna get real toasty soon. Alright, let's see if we can hit that building. We really need to. That one's on fire. The field's on fire. Alright, they're losing morale because of fire. Let's see if we can hit that tower. A few shots? No shots? 70, okay, so that's good. Alright, so let's just hit the troops. Feels like they could be marching out soon if they realize the towers are going to be on fire. But if they don't move out, we just have to just keep firing. At least they're all standing really crowded in this one little area. We can actually move up now that the turrets are dying. Alright, I'll cut it back when we're in a better position. See y'all then. Okay, never mind, guys. Uh, they're actually coming out, so not cutting. All 
All right, we see them come at us. Gotta guard our flank. We have archers. We have a lot of archers. A lot of them are really good archers too. E archers. We just need to shoot at their archers. Alright, I don't think the archer will actually make it up here with our uh, bowmen. We have a lot of bow. We just gotta make sure their range units don't actually hit our troop. We took out all their ranged towers, but we don't have any um, cavalry this time to run up. Alright, we're gonna be taking some fire damage. Decline. I mean, he's only level 1. Why are we so scared? But Huan Zhi is a very important character. We don't want him to die. I feel like we'll just let him charge up. Yeah, he's gonna charge into us. Alright, he decides to charge into our best unit. And we can just have him killed. Well, this is easy. The general himself just charges in to the thick of things against all our units. Alright, let's fast forward this because he's clearly gonna die. Make sure he doesn't get out. Right, that unit has routed. Let's switch to another unit. They're out of ammo. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna kill him, and I think the morale is gonna shatter the rest of those guys. Okay, okay. Now we can just grab these guys and line them back up again. Easy peasy. And then we just wait till people charge at us. Or if they don't want to charge at us, we can charge at them. Yeah, it seems like that could be the idea. Let's move everyone up. They can't kill us all. But we can't kill him. Alright, he's done. Let's charge at that group. I'm just gonna grab our army and just charge randomly. I think we already minimized loss. Alright, just gotta shoot down this archer group. And the rest of these guys will just charge in here. Right, I think our archer is in range. They should start shooting soon. There we go. Alright, we'll wait. Alright, we just line up here and kill the rest of them. They only have spearmen left. You can watch them die. Are they still not routing? One group routed. Smart group. Alright, the dumb and dumber group are running. Okay. Alright, we got that. Nice one. Alright, and we took Golgan's uh, last commander. Capture it. We offered him a way to live as a vast wonder us, but he didn't want to. He still has uh, his last force, which he will probably just run into our force and suicide. Which is totally fine with me. Alright, so we took care of that situation. Let's swing around. Zhuge Liang is on his uh, long march towards uh, Chengdu. Gotta get there. I don't know if Chengdu is actually going to be taken by uh, Gongdu. We really don't want that to happen. We don't want him to be an emperor. So let's hope we can get there. 
Alright, Guan Yu is gonna run him down. We want that bull. We cannot let Liu Yao run away from us. We can't get through here. That zone of control is annoying. So we just have to watch him slip away? This peace war BS is really starting to tick me off. Alright, he summoned a new army. That's fine. I guess we just chill then. Liu Qi is in position. We can actually start a war with Liu Biao. We don't have any agreements. So let's start a war with Liu Biao. Liu Qi can kick us off. Alright. There's an army here. Mm, close victory, medium damage. That's fine. We will just automate this. Alright, we capture CEO. He's lame now. There's a lot of traits. 37 year olds. What skill does he come with? I want to know what part of the tree he's on. Okay, Wisdom of the River, so that's the left side. He might be good. There's nothing good on him. There's. I, I can't even see what item he has. I have to decide if I want to hire him. He's 61. Okay, you know what? Liu Bao, we're just going to be releasing your characters. We want to be on your good side. Because we want to eventually still try to confederate you. Alright, we'll occupy. Now Chen is just a large town now. We have a level up here. Uh, we can pick up this to boost the armor of his spear units. Uh, we decided to delegate that because we don't have to fight for a while. Right, all these are undefended and then Zhang Yan has an army to take care of most of this. There's a enemy force that showed up but I don't know if he's actually going to be relevant since we're attacking Liu Biao. New target. Alright, Liu Biao's doom is soon, next turn. We'll be taking half of his territories next turn. Um, that's everybody. Zhang Fei is still sieging here. They're really just not coming out. But it's still telling me it's going to be a tough fight. So we're going to siege one more turn. And then when the wall is more damaged, I'll fight that. Alright, let's look, look at the buildings, take next turn, and then call this episode to an end. That's a little short episode for our Liu Bei Let's Play, but uh, if we get into next turn, there seems to be a lot of points where we need to fight. Uh, so we'll save that for a more exciting episode in the next one. Um, do I want to upgrade this? We don't actually have any use for this. This is just a food town. We don't need this to mess up our... Okay, we need to fight corruption here and destroy that building. Okay, here we go, here we go. We want the inn. And over here we want the land development. Alright, Ye is about to rebel. We can swing that army back after Golga is, you know, ready taken care of. Uh, here, we can actually boost this one more time. For f there will be minus 8, which one upgrade will be more than enough to fix, actually. Okay, uh, that's everything. Uh, let's end turn, and uh, we'll pick up it from our next episode. Uh, Zhang Fei is still stuck here. But uh, Zhuge Liang's army is on his way to try to take the capital seat before Gongdu does. He's now our coalition member. Yuan Shu is also our coalition member. We can't get into a war with Wu. It's really bothersome. So instead, we got into a war with Liu Biao. Our next episode will be our army pushing west, uh, taking out Liu Biao and Cao Cao, which is the old Cao Cao's force. Now it's under Xin Jie Shang, uh, who is, I think, Cao An's wife. They have uh, two commanderies. Uh, counties left. We'll wipe out these forces in our next episode, also that one, and then take over this capital seat. 
and then we'll swing down. Uh, if we have to make payment, we'll make payment. We'll find some way to get pseudo peace or actually war with Wu. Uh, so to finish our fight there. All right. Uh, thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Bye.